Today, I would like to share with you a very special and interesting story about a unique farming industry in China, the breeding and processing of cockroaches. For many people, cockroaches are despised insects, often appearing in filthy places and causing harm to our lives. However, in China, cockroaches have become an industry that brings huge profits and provides many economic opportunities for people. Let us delve into the detailed process of breeding and processing cockroaches to better understand the marvels of this industry. In Xichang City, Liangshan Prefecture, Sichuan Province, there is the world's largest American cockroach breeding facility housing around 6 billion cockroaches. The breeding environment must ensure factors such as temperature, humidity, and light. Cockroaches are insects that prefer darkness, avoid strong light and noise, and thrive in warm and moist conditions. The farms often design breeding areas with numerous tin sheets, egg boxes, and wooden boards connected together to create the dark environment they favor. Cockroaches are fed a balanced diet consisting of corn, wheat, fruits, and vegetables, along with trace elements in specific proportions. In large farms, breeding six billion cockroaches can consume about 10 tons of food per day. To meet this demand, farms utilize kitchen waste as feed. Tons of leftover food from shops, restaurants, and hotels are used to feed the cockroaches, helping to reduce food waste and protect the environment. The breeding process includes stages of eggs, nymphs, and adults. Each stage has different requirements for temperature and humidity. Cockroaches are insects with strong reproductive capabilities, with each female able to reproduce twice a month, laying about 30 to 40 larvae each time. Controlling the environment and diet helps cockroaches grow rapidly and increase their reproductive capacity. To ensure the health of the cockroaches and maintain high productivity, farms must implement various disease prevention and control measures. This includes regularly checking the health of the cockroaches, maintaining a clean environment, and using effective disease prevention methods. Additionally, farms must comply with food safety and environmental protection regulations to ensure the final product is safe and of high quality. After breeding cockroaches for six months, they are harvested and taken to processing factories. Cockroaches usually hide during the day and come out at night to search for food, so harvesting is often done during the day when they are less active. The harvesting process must be done carefully to avoid harming the cockroaches and ensure they are brought into the processing procedure safely and effectively. Cockroaches are processed into pharmaceutical products thanks to the valuable compounds in their bodies. Scientific research has shown that cockroaches contain many active substances that promote wound healing, reduce inflammation and swelling, fight tumors, regulate immunity, and protect the liver. The mature cockroaches are selected, cleaned, dried, and finely ground to make medicine. These components are then quality checked and undergo the final steps of pharmaceutical production. Besides pharmaceuticals, cockroaches are also used to make food products. They can be dried or fried to make snacks. Although this might seem repulsive to many, for some, it is a delicious and nutritious food source, rich in protein. In China, people tend to eat almost anything edible, and cockroaches with their high protein content have become an important protein source. Cockroach processing factories in China use advanced technology to ensure the final product is of the highest quality. The processing procedure includes several steps, from cleaning the cockroaches, drying them, grinding them finely, to packaging and quality checking. These factories also comply with international standards on food safety and environmental protection, ensuring the final product is safe and environmentally friendly. The cockroach breeding and processing industry in China not only brings huge economic profits, but also creates many job opportunities for people, especially the poor. Utilizing kitchen waste as cockroach feed helps reduce food waste and protect the environment. Moreover, pharmaceutical products made from cockroaches can improve public health thanks to the valuable compounds in their bodies. The cockroach breeding and processing industry also helps enhance people's quality of life by producing nutritious pharmaceutical and food products. Research has shown that cockroaches contain many beneficial compounds for health, 
aiding wound healing, reducing inflammation, boosting immunity, and protecting the liver. This not only improves public health, but also reduces the burden on the healthcare system. Using kitchen waste to feed cockroaches is an effective solution to reduce food waste and protect the environment. By recycling leftover food, the cockroach breeding industry helps reduce waste and minimize negative environmental impacts. This creates a sustainable farming system, helping to maintain ecological balance and protect natural resources. The story of the cockroach breeding and processing industry in China also raises public awareness about the potential of resource utilization and creativity in economic development. Turning seemingly useless insects like cockroaches into a major economic resource demonstrates that with creativity and resourcefulness, we can achieve great achievements and improve the lives of many people. Dear esteemed guests, the story of breeding and processing cockroaches in China clearly shows that with creativity and resource utilization, we can turn seemingly useless things into major economic resources, while also improving the lives of many people. Maximizing the potential of nature and available resources not only brings economic benefits, but also contributes to environmental protection and enhances the quality of life. The cockroach breeding and processing industry has proven that even despised and seemingly useless insects can become valuable resources if we know how to exploit and use them effectively. This not only brings economic benefits, but also opens up new opportunities for sustainable development and environmental protection. Thank you very much for listening.